you looking for work? Just a little job I need doing. See, there's a merchant upstairs I need something lifting from. I do it myself, but I'm more into the legitimate document business these days. <laughs> Keep your voice down. Look, he's not a very nice bloke, right? He's a road load of stout, and he's currently buying up all the food in the area on the cheap and selling it to the refugees at a huge markup. Just listen, will ya? All I need is this seal. I've a forged letter right here that says he's releasing all the food to the refugees for free. If I can get his personal seal, then I can get his associates to open the stockpiles to the people of the town. You in or not? Well, Rolo isn't called the Stout because he likes to drink the stuff. He's a real pig. Every day, he orders some fancy pie from the cook here. Usually something that'll cost a lot to make. So, what we'll do is make up a pie that will put him out of commission for some time. Not poison poison, just something that will put him in the infirmary for a while. Nah, he has it in a chest up there by his table in case he needs to stamp any documents. If he's rushed off to hawk his guts out, I don't think his first priority will be taking it with him. Exactly. So what I need you to do first is take care of the most complex item in the recipe, the pie crust. What we're going to do is mix in a load of fishing bait into the flour. Do you know about the water mill to the south? What you need to do is take some wheat and fishing bait there. You can get wheat from a field to the south of here, just over the bridge. Upstairs, there is a hopper. Put the wheat in the hopper and put the fishing bait on top. Once you've done that, use the lever nearby to put it all in the mill. Then it'll all get mashed up. Now go back downstairs and use your pot to gather up the flour and bring it to me. Okay, see you about. What's up? That's perfect. Don't worry. I'll take care of making this into a pie shell for you in a moment. We also need to fill the pie with something pretty nasty. What we need first is a raw crayfish. I want you to go and get one and bury it in a field. Just shove it right into the dirt and then let it ripen. use either the flax field, wheat field, or the animal pen for the job. The flax field is closest, is in the northwest of here, 
near the master farmer's shop and the well. And don't forget, when you are done, you should come and see me and show me your work. But first, let me take care of that flower. Okay, see you about. How are the fish biting? Oh, Sarah, though. No. That thing stinks. Just looking at it makes me want to vomit. Perfect. Only one thing left. To give the pie a little more body, we'll add the potato. I want you to go and get a raw potato and shove it down the kebit hole. Kebit burrows are full of hair and droppings and all other kinds of nasty waste. So if you just shove it in there and pull it out, it'll be okay. Well, I say okay. Okay, see you about. Oh, are you addressing me? Oh dear, this will never do. I was right, this will never do. I mean, look at yourself. How, by any stretch of the imagination, am I supposed to converse with one such as yourself? Oh, you are so lower class. I've become used to dealing with better people than you since I became fabulously wealthy.
Nothing stinks. We'll never eat that unless we do something to mask the smell. I have an idea, though. One of Rolo's fellow merchants, Foppish Pierre, has been hanging around the mill. He carries a supply of spices on him all the time. If you can pickpocket those, then we'll be in business. So, just go and grab those spices from Pierre and add them to the pie. Then you can take it up to Rolo and see if he swallows it. Watch me! What is this? This is not the scrumptious red berry in distress quail pie I demanded! Well, that's not my problem. Maybe he didn't torment the quails for as long as I specified. But whatever this is, it does smell delicious. Oh, really? Then I suppose I might try a portion. What is it called? Crayfish a la mank? I can't say I've ever heard of a crayfish a la mank before. To make up for not being able to make the pie I ordered. Well, that's quite nice of you. To tell the chef I will only sue him slightly for not making what I ordered. That if this pie tastes nice, then I might even pay him for it. Thanks. What for? Yes, yes, that's all very well and good. Now be on your way, you jabbering vassal. I have a pie to eat. A crayfish a la mank, eh? Tastes like. Well, <laughs> Rolo certainly won't be causing any more trouble for a while. Don't, don't even talk about that. I'm still queasy from seeing what he did to the stairs as they carted him out. <laughs> they had to sluice them down with buckets and mops. Oh, terrible. But at least the stains are all gone now. Well, 
With Rolo out of the way, you can go up and steal the seal from his chest. We'd best move fast, in case he decides to send for it when he comes round. Is there anything else you need to know? Okay, see you about. Let's get this letter stamped, huh? Done. Now just take it to Pierre, and we're home free. Don't forget to come back and see me when you're done, okay? Someone found my spices. Don't joke around, please, you, you messenger. Give me that note. What madness is this? He wants me to open the fruit stall for free. Is he demented? I will have to contact some people. Leave me. Leave me to my despair. a glass and two to you tonight. There is that. Hopefully the food situation will improve unless someone else muscles in on the racket. Good point. But for now, let's celebrate. <laughs> 